and staying with the French summit, French President Emmanuel Macron says IMF member countries have agreed to clear Sudan's arrears to the institution, removing a final hurdle to the African nation getting wider relief on external debt of at least $50 billion. Hosting a conference for Sudan in Paris, French President also kick-started the broader debt relief effort, saying his country was in favor of fully cancelling the $5 billion it is owed by Khartoum. Sudan is emerging from decades of economic sanctions and isolation under ousted former President Omar al-Bashir. Sudan has cleared the final hurdle in order to access relief on external debt of at least 50 billion US dollars, according to French President Emmanuel Macron. That after member countries of the International Monetary Fund agreed to clear Sudan's arrears to the institution. The economically struggling nation is emerging from decades of sanctions and isolation and the ousted former President Omar al-Bashir. It had built up huge arrears on its debt. A transitional military civilian government has been trying to pull the country out of a deep economic crisis. Inflation is at over 300 percent and there is a shortage of basic goods, fueled by a lack of foreign currency reserves. But rapid progress has recently been made under the IMF and World Bank's highly indebted poor country scheme or HIPC. The HIPC would reopen access to badly needed cheap international finance. In order to unlock the process, Sudan recently cleared its arrears to the World Bank and African Development Bank with bridge loans from Western nations. La de la dette que... The remaining step was to clear Sudan's arrears to the IMF. At a conference in Paris, Macron said that would be facilitated through a $1.5 billion bridge loan, which would be covered by member states' pledges. Today's step is a decisive step. It marks the real engagement of the whole international community alongside your country. Because you had the courage to stand up, to conquer freedom and to start these first reforms. Macron also kick-started a broader debt relief effort, saying his country was in favor of fully cancelling the $5 billion it is owed by Sudan. Others, such as Italy and Germany, have agreed to clearing their shares of Sudan's debt. Kuwait, the country's biggest creditor at $9.8 billion, said it would support debt resolution discussions. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.